Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my, my channel. Uh, this session, this video we are going to discuss about what is Terraform state file and what happen if you remove the uh, mistakenly uh, any resource information, any resource into the Terraform state file. So what happened exactly? Then uh, again, if, if we created any resource manually, how I would like to bring uh, the particular resource into again to manage, uh, to bring back the particular resource into the uh, Terraform state. How? Let's see what is going to happen. What does it mean if you create one resource manually? Now I would like to bring the particular resource also into Terraform. Going forward, I would like to manage the particular resource also by using Terraform rather than manually. Let's see what is going to. Let's see how it is going to work. Okay. So I have a. I just created a, uh, this one. So I just initially the Terraform. I have a total three resources. One is for the institute instance creation. The other one is volume creation, one GB, and attaching the volume to specific institute instance. So here I am associating the, the particular argument to call it as a uh, resource AWS instance and EC2 and ID. It's going to attach this this volume to this server by using this parameter. Okay, this argument. Okay, so I can see now it is successfully created. Now let me run the Terra. What is Terraform state? Let let me before going to discuss. So uh, uh, Terraform state file and Terraform import. So what is Terraform state file? Okay. Terraform state file. So let's see what is going to exactly like if you run here. See if you run the Terraform state, we have, we have a sub commands available Terraform list uh, and move and pull, push, RM and show. So let's see what is exactly one after one. Okay. If you run the Terraform list, uh, let me go with the list. So you can see three resources. Why? Because so one is for the EC2 instance, and other one volume creation, and the other attachment. If you go and see my .tf file, so this is the resource and AWS instance .ebs. If you go back and see AWS instance .ec2, that's the logical name. And if you go back and see what is the volume AWS underscore EBS volume EBS. If you go back and see AWS EBS volume and EBS. If you go back attachment AWS volume attachment EBS underscore attach. This is the resource. I'm using three resources totally. It's showing the three resources. If we create one more resource, it's going to show into state file again. Okay. So let me let me see what is going to happen if I remove the Terraform state file. If I remove the Terraform state, so RM. Okay, before going to remove RM, let me run the Terraform show. Okay. What is the show command here? Show the resource into state. When we run the Terraform show, sorry. So when we run the Terraform state show. And resource and resource logical name. Let's see what is going to show. Okay, you can see here the resource which we created the same syntax which is going to show here again. You can see this is the resource which check resource resource name and resource logical name. If you go available to join this one and sizes, if you go and see again, it will going to show. But the only thing extra which is going to air and air and means the particular resource information is going to store Terraform state file, which is going to fill which is going to pull the this resource information everything into the so this particular state file so in the form of json so a terraform state file uh, it will store as a locally by default in the form of the json file this is exactly the, the file name is terraform dot tf state okay okay let this is the terraform show so let me see so what happened before going to delete let me go ahead and see the what is terraform state file terraform so you can see right i created three sources if you create, if you add one more resource, it will go into store. So I created three resources. I can see my state file. I have three resource information which is available now. So let me see exactly what is the de definition. Terraform must store about your managed infrastructure and configuration. This state is used by the Terraform to map the real world resources. Real world resources means these are all the resources. This is a resource. This is a resource, and the above one is the easy to instance resource. Okay. So by default, it's going to keep track of all the resources. What does it mean? If you if you go and if you go and increase the one more, uh, if you if I want to increase the volume size, if I want to increase the, for example, now I have one GB. Now I would like to keep two GB. So let me go ahead and uh, run the Terraform. So what happened? Terraform apply. If I run the Terraform apply, it's going to increase the volume. If you go and see here, so this is the server which I created. If I scroll down. You can see one GB. Now, if I go ahead and now after a few seconds, so it's going to ask to uh, this will take a few seconds. Now we can see the size is going to change one GB to two GB. If I say yes, 
So if you go back and see it's modifying, this will take few minutes. If I go back and see here again, if you scroll down here, you can see now the volume also changed. Why? Because so it's still it is taking, but you can see changes. Why? Because I changed my volume to 1 GB to 2 GB. So that's why you can see. Now if you run the Terraform state, uh, Terraform state show, uh, sorry, Terraform state show on volume information. So, so this is going to store the size. It, it was actually 1 GB. Now you now we can see 2 GB. If you go on up, you can see it was 1 GB. Sorry, not this one. Uh, if you go on up, so you can see here it was 1 GB. Uh, the Terraform short command. Now, if you can see, this is the 1 GB here. Now, if you can see here the below, so it is showing the 2 GB. Why? Because we have based on the dot point, we have increased this volume size 1 GB to 2 GB. It's showing. Okay. This is showing. Now, if I run the Terraform. Now, if I run the Terraform state list, now I have a three resources. I, now I am taking out one resources into the Terraform state file. What happened? So let me take this one volume. So Terraform state, sorry, I missed out RM. So Terraform state RM, this is the one. Removing the instances from the state. So instance means there is a volume of resource. I'm taking out the, I'm not deleting entire infrastructure. I'm taking out the particular resource information to the my state file. Okay, this will take a few minutes. So once deleted this one, what happened? Let me see if you go back and see. But in real world, my Terraform state file is stored in my locally. But in real world, we don't keep any state file locally. I want to keep it as my state file into the uh, S3 bucket or storage level, Azure, or Google uh, in storage level. Why? Because if you want to work multiple people, if you keep the state file global level, then only people can access throughout the world. Throughout the world, if you keep the state file locally, you are all, you are only can manage the way because that state file store in your private desktop, it's not available for the others. The always best practice to keep the state file remote level. So I have already uploaded one video. What is Terraform state file? I'm going to keep the link into the description. Then if you can follow the, uh, if you can follow the simple video, then you can understand exactly what is Terraform, why we want to keep the state file remote level. Okay. Now I have, I just removed the EBS. Uh, the particular resource successfully into my Terraform state file. Now, if I run the Terraform state list, Terraform state list, let's see. Now we can see it was actually three resources. Now it is only for the available three resources. If we go up, you can see it was actually, it was showing three resources. Now, if you can see here, only two resources information available. Why? Because I have removed the one of the EBS volume resource into the state file. That is the resource. This is the volume. I, this is the resource which I take it out from the deep particular state file. Okay. Now, if you go back and see console level, what happened? Our infrastructure is up and running or let me see. If you go back and see, go to the volume, but nothing changes happen. Our infrastructure physically is not going to remove anything. It's going to run up absolutely up and fine, up and running absolutely not is going to happen. So this is what we have done. So what happened if we delete the Terraform state file? Items removed from the Terraform state are not physically. What does it mean? This particular resource, this particular resource only removed from your state file, not physically. Physically means your infrastructure, it's not going to touch, it's not going to affect anymore. But in future, if I want to add this volume, let's say for example, now earlier what we have done, so I have increased the volume uh, from 1 GB to 2 GB. I'm able to successfully, why? Because this particular resource information, our state file is able to manage. But what happened now? I deleted this one. If I run the Terraform plan, if I run the Terraform plan, what happened? Let's see. So what happened? If I run the Terraform plan, so what we'll do? This will take you one second. Let me pause. Now we can see this is what happened. Again, the volume is going to create. You can see here. So it's going to ref refresh in from the state file. So you can see the again the same volume. Why? Because this particular syntax is available into the my Terraform issue.tf. That's why when you run the Terraform plan, the locally where you are running command based on the .tf file, what are the resource information is available? It's going to create. Why? Because this resource information no longer available into the my state file. That's why it's creating. If if again uh, that's why Terraform is trying to create why because this resource information no longer available to the my state file okay that's why it's creating and again it's trying to replace the attaching here so 
this behavior is not good actually so what happened i would oh, now i would like to bring back my particular resource again to my terraform state file what happened let me see what is it. so so before going to terraform existing resource so there are ways actually we can import so what is terraform state file terraform must store about your managed infrastructure configuration the state is to terraform map real world resource configuration keep track of metadata and improve the performance of large infrastructure now what happened now i would like to bring back my resource into the terraform state file okay there is a way to import there is a way how to bring back my deleted resource into my terraform state file by using terraform import so what is terraform import so if you go back and see terraform you can see here terraform is able to import the existing resources this allows to take resources you have created some other means to bring back under control your terraform management so other way means if you create any resource manually also we can do that we'll talk about later now i deleted my resource manually now again i want to i'd like to bring back my resource into my terraform to manage infrastructure going forward so what is the way to import the basic syntax to import terraform import uh, if you can see modular resource terraform import the, this is the resource name and resource logical name and the id of the resource that is attribute okay so let me go back and see what is exactly okay based on the import this is my syntax uh what is the syntax which i deleted so if i go back and uh, so this is the syntax which i deleted let me keep everything same let me take it out the terraform import and if this is the resource name aws underscore ebs and volume that is ebs if i keep it dot uh, space if you go back and what is the attribute name attribute is nothing but a volume id if it is instance it is the instance id we have to take let me copy this my volume id this is the volume this is the particular volume resource which i deleted from the state file if you go back and my terraform let me keep it here terraform import and the resource name and resource logical name so again we have to you need to remember one thing when you're trying to import resources the syntax should be available into my local dot tfl then only you can import this is the my resource name and this is the logical name even if i want to change the my logical name also you can happily change if you want you can keep it different name also it doesn't matter okay this is very important why because this volume only i want to manage my infrastructure going forward i want to increase from 2gb to 5gb okay then i want to keep it this is the very important this ebs it doesn't matter you can keep it if you also something okay okay let me import this will take few minutes now we can see uh, terraform able to successful some put it you can see imported successfully you can see this volume is available now if you run the terraform let's see what is going terraform if you run the terraform state list let's see what is going to see happen now we can see again the again the volume also it came back now if i run the terraform plan we can see again the volume also came back to under terraform so we are able to successfully to bring back the particular resource information into terraform state file again now if i run the terraform plan let's see what is going to happen so earlier it was trying to create why because based on the syntax the data file available but that that is no longer available into my state file that's why i trying to recreate actually now let's see run the terraform plan what is going to happen so if it's running it will take a second let me pause now we can see so terraform is not no longer is after importing after import so terraform if you run the terraform state you can see the resource if you run the terraform there is no changes why because what are the things which we done earlier that everything control into again we bring back the this particular resource into terraform state file which we deleted again the terraform state file is up and running fine we don't see any infrastructure changes okay this is absolutely fine so what happen if i create one resource manually let me go ahead and let me pass my video i'll kick i'll go ahead and kick, uh, create one server manually then we'll see how we need to bring back the particular server which we created manually how i would like to bring back the server into my terraform control let's see let me pause now i just created one i quickly created one server manually so if you can see here if i scroll down so what is the server name which i just created let me search for running so now we can see the server which i created manually if you go back and see we are no longer managing the particular resource into the manual now let's see i created this resource this server manually now going forward i want to try to bring back this resource also this server also manual uh, this server also my terraform control okay okay if i run the terraform again showing if i run the terraform state list so i have only three resource information 
you can see this resource no longer is available my terraform state file let me bring back okay so the how we are going to import butler server uh, if we go back and see terraform import and this is the uh, instance uh, uh, instance type name uh, resource name and this is the logical name and the instance id that's the attribute okay let me go back and take the syntax so what is the syntax generally if you want to create any resource uh, any server issue to server this is the syntax generally okay this is the resource and resource logical name let me take this one so go, going back here so terraform import uh, on to create the ec2 instance aws underscore instance and i will keep it as a ec2 iphone 2 i'll keep it as a and what is the attribute which i want to use based on the syntax uh, so this is the uh, attribute id so id if you go back and take this one this is the my instance id okay if i take this one so going back keep it here let me try to import let's see what is going to happen so you can see here when you're trying to import what is saying actually resource address adding does not in the configuration what does it mean the local dot tf file this particular resource information no longer available what does it mean if you want to import also which you created if you if you want to uh, import any resource which you created any server any infrastructure which you created manually if i want to bring back under terraform control i have to create the syntax i have to place some uh, syntax uh, into my dot tf file then only terraform is going to recognize okay so terraform won't terraform it will import the resource information to the state file but it's not going to physically create your resource information like this into dot tf file so what happen is if i take down this is a syntax which i want to create for ec2 one let me keep it here i'll keep it as a ec2 iphone 2 something and again i want to change it here also ec2 name something let me save it okay so let me see where is created the server so it is created in the 2a only based on the 2a i want to keep it as a uh, 2a only that in instance type also t2 micro so let me see what is the instance type t2 micro that's fine this is absolutely fine this is the basic syntax if you want to add we can add also doesn't matter okay so this is the basic syntax if you want to add extra argument also we can add so based on the we need to find out what are the arguments which is available argument means uh, uh, these are the arguments so instance ami and instance type these are the arguments so let me go ahead and see the what is the ami let me see the what is the ami available so i forgot if i scroll down uh, if i scroll down subnet id and uh, so this is the ami let me take the ami id so 9c let me make sure yeah this is the one let me keep it again so we want to make sure we want to fill all the details and keep the syntax locally based on your convent okay so that is what I'm saying so before importing the resource please create a configuration in the root module this is the root module where we want to keep the basic configuration syntax i want to keep in the .tf file now i have syntax available let me go ahead and import so what is the resource logical name this is the resource name sorry this is the resource name and this is the logical name if you go back and see this is the resource name this is the logical name let me go ahead and import now This is what exactly saying. If you want to import, we have to create the configuration file locally. Okay. So Terraform import AWS instance is to this will take one second. Let's wait for it to pass. Now we can see that import was successfully. Now we can see AWS instance and this is the instance uh, ID. So you can see this is the instance ID. So 60. So this successfully completed. You can see import got successful. Now if you run the Terraform state list, what is happening? If you run the Terraform state list, so you can see this also particular instance is to answer also based on the syntax. So it's available in the Terraform state file. That is a way. So we have to, we don't have option to uh, bring back the resource entire module into log, entire module into the Terraform control, which you created. So we have to go ahead and based on so any for example you create one server the server have iam role and ec2 and dbs volume everything so again we have to go back and take the all the resource information so keep it one after one like this we have to import under manage the all the resource information to terraform stored file by using this way okay so i hope you guys uh, like my video please do subscribe my channel if you have any uh, doubts or comments so please post in the comment section i'll get back to you i'll that's, that's all from my end thank you